Good morning. Oh, I don't think you're going to be able to see me. <laughs> there we go. Good morning. Um, it is Saturday morning and I got up uh, like right at eight, which was really nice. Um, we went to bed <laughs> extremely late last night because we were up late playing words with friends with each other. <laughs> we are obsessed with that game. Um, so yeah, we were just like up all night playing. We have like three games going. It's very intense. Um, but I thought I would start the vlog today. Sebastian is up and out of the house. He went to go biking with one of his um, great friends. And if you're wondering if I'm jealous that I don't bike, yes I am. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna be jealous. I thought I was like, I wanna go on a bike ride. So who knows, maybe I'll be out there one day. Um, but yeah, he's out doing that. I decided to get up, shower, and um, wash my hair, do a little bit of makeup. Um, as you guys saw, I've been using Function of Beauty, and I really have been loving them. I feel like sometimes with my hair, it's a little difficult to tell like if something is like amazing. Like It feels really nice, and it feels really smooth, and I love it. Um, but then I'm like, oh, it kind of feels the same as my Kristen S. So I don't know. Um, the jury is still out on that. I still love it and um, really love the way that it smells and all of that. I got the peach one. It was so fun to order and like put your little stickers on. This video isn't sponsored by them, but it was just really, really fun. And I really enjoyed being able to like customize it. So um, I, yeah, washed my hair and put a little bit of makeup on. And I don't really know why. I just had like this instinct to just like get up and um, put a little bit of effort in. We're not gonna be doing too much um, today, but we do wanna clean out the garage. Um, we really wanna do like a DIY headboard, but I have been searching and searching on Pinterest and I'm not sure like exactly the design or style that I want so who knows if that will get done that might be a thing for tomorrow uh, but yeah I just thought I would take you along my day I think it's gonna be a really good one I'm gonna really put an effort in to make a good day um, I woke up this morning to the most terrible cheating dream I hate when I have those and if you guys ever had that dream where like you dream that your like significant other cheated on you. <laughs> so devastating. So Sebastian had already been out of the house um, on his bike ride. He had just got to the trail and I called him and I was like, I had the worst dream. And he was just very sweet and said all the right things, even though I always feel bad when I tell him because it's like, I don't really know what he's supposed to say to defend himself in that sort of dream. But it was really sad and really funny at the same time. But anyway, so that's all done. Ooh, the sun is now started to come out and blind me but um, I won't babble on for too long because I tend to do that coffee is made I really want to go downstairs and make a baked oatmeal we have a lot of strawberries we want to use up and oatmeal and I was just craving something warm and yummy like that so I want to find a recipe for that and yeah I just thought I would take you along so if you guys are new to my channel definitely subscribe if you enjoy this video and my content I make a lot of like home vlogs that's kind of more what I've been loving especially during this time I want to be able to capture my feelings and my thoughts um, during this pandemic because I've never lived through one before <laughs> hope I never do again um, so it's very interesting and yeah, I've just been enjoying vlogging and having like my nice little video diary. Um, so stick along for the ride and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Um, I decided today that, do I want that? No. Um, like I said, I got a teensy bit ready. This is as ready as I'm gonna get. This little crop uh, white tea is from Banana Republic and I love theirs. They're just like a nice crop. Um, they feel really nice. They're not see-through with a white tea. I think that's very important. So they're not see-through and yeah, they're just really uh, comfy. And then I just have on some black leggings and that's it. <laughs> so we're gonna head downstairs and make some breakfast. So we had a little bit of a problem with the oatmeal bake that I was going to make. I went to go grab our strawberries because I knew we had to use them up and they had already, they were like basically white. So that was great. But 
um a couple weeks ago we bought like two things of strawberries and i decided to freeze one because i was going to use it for like smoothies and stuff but um we still have a lot left over so i'm letting those like defrost and then i'm gonna try to make that tomorrow so if i do end up making it i will include the footage here for you guys so you can see the oatmeal bake Hopefully it's good. It looks so good and I was craving it, but for today, I still wanted to do something a little bit fun. So we're doing our normal eggs because we're eggs <laughs> lovers, but um, I have some muffins going in. So I made a couple muffins. They're like just the little Betty Crocker muffins. They are so amazing and so good. And one of mine and Sebastian's like guilty pleasures. We love them. So we had like just a pack laying around in our cupboard. So I grabbed that and um, yeah, we're gonna make that. And Sebastian's home now. Um, we're ready to eat. I'm so starving. I've been waiting for him. Um, not intentionally, I could have eaten whenever, but I was just doing other things. So yes, sadly to report uh, our moldy strawberries, but all in all, we'll still have a good breakfast, hopefully. We're in our messy, messy garage. Maybe I can turn around. To be fair, it's not like too bad. Cause we have like lots of space to like put like shelving and we have like all our luggage up there. And I guess it is kind of bad. We just don't really know what we're gonna do with anything. We really don't have a plan, but we got cozy on the couch after breakfast and we told ourselves we gotta get this done. So. I don't want to. It's too cold. It's kind of cold. Yeah, it's freezing. We'll get warm. Yeah. Now. Once we start moving. Moving. Yeah, we have a lot of shiz. I wish we had a truck to like move. Lots of like leftover furniture that his grandparents didn't want that we were just like chucking in the garage and now it's been in the garage and we're over it. So anyway, um, let's get to it. everyone i realized that it is a couple days later on saturday when we were doing all the projects i kind of stopped vlogging because we got deep into everything we did the garage we did the backyard we did all of like the closets that you don't want to look at ever and you just kind of pass by them and don't notice them we did all of that i ordered all of these organizational things on amazon and what else i did the kitchen there was just so much that it kind of felt nice to just like not have my phone not have instagram can you see my nipples <laughs> But yeah, it was kind of just nice to not have anything to like film or worry about and just really knock it out. And we filled all of the holes in our walls um, and repainted everything. It was just such a productive weekend. It was crazy. Um, so I didn't finish vlogging, but I thought that I would just end the vlog by showing you guys. I know in my last vlog, I had a package and I kind of showed you the two books that um, I received. And I thought I would just show you what's on my nightstand, what books I'm reading, the book I'm currently reading I just find like book chat so much fun and I always love adding to my book list and I always love reading people's recommendations and how they interpreted a book and all of that so while these books are not ones that I've read before I'm not gonna give like an overview of them um, which will be great because it won't be too chatty but I thought that I would still kind of show you guys what I picked up in case you're looking for something to read during this quarantine time because I know that 
for me, reading has been so helpful. Reading has been the one uh, New Year's resolution that has stuck. I told myself that I would read two books a month and I have and it's been so fun and I've just enjoyed it so much. Sebastian's been reading two books with me. Um, not the same book but uh, he's been doing that challenge and we've just enjoyed it so much. I think there's so much out there in terms of genres and what your style of reading, what your style of writing, all of that stuff. There's so much out there and so hopefully these books are good recommendations for you and yeah I'll just kind of dive in I have a pretty big stack so this is currently um, besides the list on my phone that is always running and being added to this is kind of what I have on my nightstand so I kind of want to get through this before I purchase anymore <laughs> that's my goal um, so I'll start off with what I'm reading right now this is the interesting that is so hard this is the interestings and it's by Meg Walzer and it's a chunky one I will say it's like 530 something pages I'm currently on page 350 so um, I've done a big bulk of this which is why I feel like I can kind of talk about it and recommend it although I haven't finished it it has been one that I haven't like loved I don't love this which is so funny the um, the Instagram account the Anna edit is where I get most of my book recommendations I just feel like her and I she and I have the same taste and I really enjoy the books that she's recommended so she said that this was one of her favorite books of last year and so I was so excited to read it and yeah I'm just having a little bit of a harder time um, I think just with the way that it's written so it's very the way I explained it to Sebastian is the author will start a sentence or like yeah just start a sentence and then we'll like dive into a memory and then you'll be on that memory for two to three pages and then she'll pick back up on the original sentence if that makes sense so it's just it's very bulky I just spit everywhere very bulky very sometimes I when I'm reading at night it's kind of hard to follow but I do love and enjoy the character development and and the friends and the story that the book is about I love but it's just been so difficult for me to read I don't know if I just am bad at reading but it's definitely a chunkier difficult book but yeah that's what I'm reading right now and I'm enjoying it not loving it um next this is kind of by order so this is the order of the books I want to read but um, this next one is The Little Women. I never read this um, book before I watched the movie, the new one, um, and I instantly fell in love with the movie. You guys know I vlogged about it. I was completely taken by the story and the characters. I loved it. So I knew I wanted to read the book and my sister, my little sister actually, this is her copy. So it's an easier um, copy than some of the other ones out there. She let me borrow it and gave it to me to read. So I'm excited that it's a little bit easier of a read to be honest than um, the one I'm currently reading. But yeah, so I think this will take me no time, but I think it'll be fun to kind of read the story in the book um, and then rewatch the movie because I've been dying to rewatch it. And yeah, I'm just, I'm obsessed. So I have Little Women, very excited. And then um, one of the newer books that I bought um, that I showed in my last vlog was Conversations with Friends and this is by Sally Rooney and I've heard great things about this as well. I'm really excited to dive into it and this one is just about so Conversations with Friends is wonderfully alive to the pleasures and dangers of youth and the messy edges of female friendship. So I'm excited to dive into this um, and see what all of the hype is about. And then the next one that I purchased was um, The Other Americans and I'm really excited about this I love stories that have very big character stories and this one is one of those books so I read Little Fires Everywhere um, last year was it last year yeah it was it was last year and that's just a great example of kind of the character development and all of the intertwining stories and this is um, another story about that in like the neighborhood and all of that um, so yeah it's a family saga a murder mystery and a love story so I'm very excited I love these types of books um, so I think I'll really enjoy that one so this last one is get, was lent to me by my friend Sav and it's a simple favor and this was another book that was made into a movie I think last year I could be wrong um, I've never seen the movie never heard of the book but um, obviously I've heard of the movie so 
I think I'll really like this. I love when people like recommend books to me, especially like loved ones near to me. When Sebastian recommends a book, I always get excited to read it. When my friends tell me something, it just makes it more special to read a book that way. Not saying that you'll always love it, but it's just nice to kind of read the book knowing that like, oh, my friend loved this or oh, Sebastian loved it. Like it just makes it a little bit more exciting. I don't know if that's weird, but so this is the last one on my list, which I am very excited to dip into i was just checking the time and i've been babbling on for almost nine minutes so um i will let you guys go here i hope that you enjoyed getting a little glimpse into our weekend there kind of wasn't a lot um which is why i kind of ended it with a fun book chat so i hope that you enjoyed that if you did definitely hit that like button as well as subscribe if you are new i would love to have you here on my channel and i will see you guys in my next one bye